What's good? What's good? It's your boy Mabo Beast. That's MaboBeast.com. Today I'm gonna give you a quick trick on uh taming taming the bass and the subs in a two track. You know what I'm saying? And the reason you want to do that is because that can cause problems because that that you know bass eats up your headroom when it comes to mastering, and you don't want that distortion you know from all those tracks being stacked up from the vocals and then all this bass from your two tracks. So it can really eat up your headroom when it comes to mastering. You don't want that issue. But more so, I'm using it to to tame my lows, but to also get a, a cleaner sound from my two track. So, and what I'm using, I'm using the Fab Filter Pro MB. And I just want you to look. All right, make sure you listen to some some uh some good some good monitors some, or some good headphones. And the beat is okay. I mean, it's, it it's mixed okay. It's not like a a bad a badly mixed beat, but I feel like those lows can be a little a little cleaner and tighter. Or uh, you know, so what I want to do is use this fab filter. All right, it's Pro MB, and this what I'm using. If you have this, it's a great tool. So, you know, the Pro MB is basically, uh, it's basically like, shit, it's, it's, it's like a compressor and a fucking, you know, that's basically what it is. It's, it's a multi-band compressor, you know. You can add as many bands as you want to, but like I said, I'm just trying to tame the lows in this beat. So, I added a band and I took it down to 60. You know, you can stretch it out as far as you want to, but I took it down to 60 because I'm specifically timing the beat now you see this this pink part that's your range and that's basically is it, it's telling you the compressor uh how it, it's almost like it's like setting the threshold like basically you know when that when that compression is complied it won't go any lower than what's in the pink but i don't want my sub to go that low you know when it's hidden uh hitting that compressor so what i want to do is i want to bring it up to you see this negative three so I wanted to dip down at least uh negative three dB. And I didn't really have to adjust this, you know, at all. I just left like that and watch what happens. Listen. All right, listen to it without. Let's do it with it. It almost seems like, you know, when I turned it on, it's like a lot of the other instruments begin to stand out. You know what I'm saying? So like those pianos really begin to stand out more. All right, remember what I said, bass eats up a lot of your headroom, all right? So with it, without it. Much cleaner. And that's it. And like I said, I have I set my range to uh negative three, you know. And and that's it. And I left this the way it was, and that's pretty much it. That's my quick tip. Marble Beast Production, MarbleBeast.com. Appreciate you. If this video was helpful at all, drop a comment, share. And make sure you subscribe. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. I got a lot of people come through. They watch the video, they don't subscribe. Subscription is very important. Thank y'all. Peace.